you're swimming pretty fast right now. Um, going to PB in the 100 uh, at the last stop. Did you also reduce the event schedule too for uh, the last stop in Toronto? And are you planning on doing the same thing for this weekend in Indy? Uh, it's been pretty much the same. Uh, I did a 100 back 50 fly combo in heats in Berlin, mm -hmm. and that's I only scratched a 50 fly for Toronto. Other than that, it was the same. I'm changing it up slightly for Indy, so I'm gonna do the 50 back and 100 I am the first day, and then I'm gonna do the 50 fly instead of the 100 back the second day, and then 100 fly the second day. So minor changes, but same number of events. What are you looking to learn from this third stop? Because you swim faster in Toronto. Are, do you expect, how are you feeling in the water? Do you expect to be faster here? I think so. Like, uh, starting to feel tired, definitely. Like, third week of racing, it's obviously intense, a lot of traveling and everything. Uh, but I feel like I was keeping meters up pretty high, like, in the beginning of the World Cup Series, and I've been dropping it down a little bit this week just to make sure I don't overdo it since it is intense on the body so i'm hoping i will be able to continue pushing it a bit but as you said like i'm really happy with my swims last week like i'm already hitting pb so uh yeah it's gonna be a challenge but hopefully i will be able to continue improving this week so tell me what a pro swimmer like you does in the three days before or three days between two big competitions yeah three days it's not much i feel like we usually don't have this little time so between Toronto and Indy, honestly, it's just been easy swimming, just trying to loosen it out and just get stuff ready. Like, I know the speed is there, so I don't need to change that in practice. So, yeah, just doing a few dives, get used to the new pool and, like, the turns and stuff. But, honestly, just some easy swimming, flushing it all out and getting ready for the next one. Uh, so they used to have the U.S. Olympic trials in this pool. Um, I know that you guys have seen the history there, but also have done a tour of events and things. So tell me about the last couple of days with the FINA tours and going to the racetrack. What was that like? It was a lot of fun. Yesterday was definitely a busy day. We had uh, played some basketball, got to see the arena, and then went up to speed track and got to drive some cars. And then to a press conference where they're going to held the Olympic trials for the US, we're like, blow that up to a pool. So it's been really cool. It's been intense, but it's been a lot of fun. How's your basketball game? Not the best. <laughs> I will stay in the water for sure. <laughs> but it was fun to play some. What about race cars? It was fun. Uh, I've been watching F1 up this year, so it was fun to actually be on a racetrack. Didn't get to go very fast, but I can say that I've done two laps now at least. <laughs> oh, who's your driver? I was driving. No, no, an F1. Who oh. do you support? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ferrari, yeah. Oh, all Ferrari drivers? Yeah, <laughs> yeah those all are right. our favorites, yeah. So, uh, was there any trash talking going on with the drivers yesterday at the track? I think we all were pretty calm. We were had a bit of respect for it. Oh yeah, you <laughs> maybe kept it clean. maybe Shane was a little bit. <laughs> he was getting into it, but they were telling us to be safe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Probably a bad idea to go crazy before. Yeah. Uh, have you ever talked trash in the ready room? Not really my my thing to do that. <laughs> have you ever seen somebody do it? Probably, yeah. I haven't really paid attention to it. In the ready room, I'm pretty much in my own little bubble and focusing on me and what I can do and trying to not get into what everyone else is doing around me. Do you listen to music before your race? What's your like pre-race routine? And does it differ between something in-season or a big meet? No, I'm pretty, like, I'm a routine person, so I have my routines. I don't really listen to music and anything. I just try to stay calm and I have my little bubble that I call it, I go into and just, can't really tell you what I'm thinking about before. I'm just in my little world, I guess, focusing on what's next to come and stay calm. Yeah. Has it always been that way? Yeah. It's been like when I was younger, I got really nervous for races and me have finding like calm in myself and focusing on what I can do and not what's going on around me. That's That was my way of dealing with the nerves and the pressure that I was experiencing and that just became my thing, <laughs> I guess. How much of your style rubbed off on Sophie? I don't know. I don't really see her in the ready room since she swims a breaststroke. So we're like very rarely in there together. And I feel like relays is always a bit of a different vibe. Like you're in there like a group of people, like you're sort of friends. So it's it's more relaxed going into a relay than it's going into heat swim. So I don't really know exactly what she does because I'm never there. <laughs> Are breaststrokers even people? No. <laughs> 
<laughs> have you at least gotten a few tips for her, from her to swim a 25 breaststroke in the IM? Uh, she needs to give me some more for sure. Like, I feel great up until the 50 mark, and then it gets a little iffy, but we're getting there. <laughs> If you so the cool thing about the World Cups, you've got sort of a different slate of swimmers. You had a lot more European influence in Berlin, and there's folks like yourself who are doing all the stops. And then at this stop, you've got a lot more of the Americans and North Americans coming in. So if you could bet on swimming, who's one swimmer that you're looking to watch and think is going to dominate this weekend? It's been a pretty good meet so far. It's been a lot of quick swims. Um, I think that. A lot of people have been performing really high. I feel like Beta, Siobhan, and Kylie, and the people I've been traveling with will continue doing really well. Like, I see no reason why it wouldn't continue swimming well. But, like, Summer Ledecky was obviously crushing it last week, so I'm excited to see them get after it as well this weekend. What do you think the softest world record is? Because when, when Ledecky <laughs> broke that world record, everybody said, oh, it's a soft record, so... I wouldn't say that any world record is a soft world record. I would be pretty damn happy to break any of them. <laughs> so now I don't don't really think there is one. What do you think the softest Swedish national record is? I would probably say the backstroke one, since we haven't really had a backstroker. I would say the fly and the free world uh -huh. records are the world records. <laughs> so they are pretty fast. So backstroke probably have been our weaker events. Yeah, fair enough. Okay, so... Um, and prep for short course worlds uh is it like say you go more best times here are you the kind of person who expects uh bigger time drops from now i mean you're fresh but in season so like can you still expect uh to go best times you know last week maybe hopefully this weekend and then feel confident going into worlds that there's more pbs to come i feel like that's always the nature of swimming like if you're training hard and some swimming well like you're still expecting that drop to happen when you feel a bit rested but that is not always the case <laughs> we have learned that from the past uh, so obviously i'm gonna go in with the expectation of like trying to swim faster but there's so much that can happen on the way and being relaxed and just enjoying it sometimes is the best way for it uh, but as i said i've been training well throughout this world cup i feel like i've been keeping the meters up and doing the right things around it and following the plan that we have set so hopefully if our plan is working and i've been doing <laughs> what i'm supposed to there will be more to come later this year Awesome, thanks. I appreciate it. Look forward to watching the race. Thank you.